Hey guys, Bobby here. So today I have uh, this is the Spyderco Slits Bowie, and I've actually had this for quite a while, and I've just been meaning to do a video on it, and I haven't. But uh, you know, overall, this is a, a great knife. Uh, I have uh, I've had a decent work to it though. When I first got it, it was off centered, and that was just because it came way too tight. I mean, it was way tight. And now, as you can see there, that is super smooth. Uh, I took it apart, cleaned it and everything. Uh, the lock is carbonized, and it was done in a way where it was really messy. I mean, it was like this black stuff was everywhere. Got all in the pivot. I mean, it was just everywhere. But, uh, I mean, there's no lock stick. So that's a good thing, right? Uh, once this thing breaks in, I mean, it is super smooth uh, take a look at the blade there so you guys can see it has like that uh, you can see me it's like a mirror finish and it is stone washed so very very nice uh, CTS <clears throat> CTS XHP steel which is really good you know uh, I like it uh, holds the edge very well and you know you could bring it to a nice mirror polish uh, I'm sure a lot of people, you know, when Spyderco first said this, uh, that they were going to release this, got really excited because, you know, if you owned a Spyderco Techno, uh, you know, it's by the same designer, uh, Marcin Slitz, I think his name is. Uh, so same, same type of finish as you guys could see. Ooh, look at that. Look at that edge. <laughs> I just recently sharpened that one, uh. I had a lot of uh, nicks and stuff in it from using this. I use this quite a bit. Uh, so, I mean, you know, if you have this, you you're probably you know you you're really excited when <clears throat> when they announced this was coming out. So a lot of the same similarities. You guys can see. Uh, let's see. Uh, you know, same designer. So there's his logo. Both made in Taiwan. Uh, they sport the same pocket clip, uh, same bead blasted hardware, very nice. Uh, this is, however, a different beast. I think a lot of people thought, oh yes, a big techno. You know, and uh, <clears throat> the fit and finisher there, I'll tell you what. Uh, you see how they rounded the spine? You know, very reminiscent of a Sabenza. A nice flat crying though, very, very nice. It is really sharp, I mean it is sharp uh, and then I really like this contoured <clears throat> the contoured handles uh, contoured titanium handles I mean they are it really goes in a pocket well it's very it's a thin knife you know that's one thing I was not kind of expecting as you guys can see next to the Techno it's quite a bit thinner uh, stock and everything let's see a uh, paramilitary you guys can see there so it, it's a you know it's a relatively thin knife, very pocket friendly, and you know really good. Uh, one thing you know it sits really flush, so you got to get your thumb in there. Uh, I could <laughs> I could flick this one. It's really hard to get your hand in there though for a you know a, a, a middle finger flick there. I could do it sometimes. You know of course I'm gonna there we go. I'm gonna choke on camera, <laughs> but uh, you know, so it's not bad. Let's see if I get my. There we go. Uh, but you know, for the most part, you're gonna open it that way. So uh, you know, it's not as you know fun to play with maybe as a paramilitary, but it is a functional, a very functional design. Uh, you could get your hand in there. You know, uh, that Bowie style blade. Uh, lots of belly. You know, lots of belly, a great slicer, and just really, really good over overall ergonomics. Uh, you know, no matter how I hold this, so really good. See the lock up on there. Uh, good lock up, so you know that's super solid. Like I said, no stick, lots of room to access. You see, it's chamfered and everything. 
lots of room to access. Uh, the jimping, jimping is, uh, it's definitely, it's more functional than uh, <laughs> that jimping. But, you know, it's not as sharp as, uh, I'd say, this, that pair of military there. So it is rounded off. <clears throat> Fit and finish wise, I would definitely put this uh, on top. I mean, like I said, after I cleaned it out and had to do everything, uh, this is, it's really good. Uh, I have to say, everything I've been looking at, uh, the construction is very well. Uh, now it's nice and centered. You know, after I lined everything up, cleaned it out. Uh, great overall knife, though. Uh, give you guys some size comparisons. Uh, that's a paramilitary two. So you see, it is uh, shorter than a paramilitary two. I measured it. Uh, it's about 3.4 inch blade, but I will throw all the stats in the description. I want to say it's also, I think it was 4.25 ounces or something like that. Like I said, I'll throw all the stats in the description. Uh, let's see here, Spyderco Southern. And the reason I, you know, uh, fit finish wise, I mean, it is right there. It's with the Southern, uh, everything else that, you know, uh, that you've seen. <clears throat> A lot of people, I've read some articles, people comparing it to their Sabenzas. Uh, in no way for me, it's going to replace a Sabenza, but uh, to each their own. Uh, very beautiful stone washing on the handles, though, so you won't notice any any marks or nicks, you know, while carrying it. That's one thing, uh, you know, I always appreciate. <laughs> so, nice backspacer. And, you know, still easy to get in there with a Q-tip to clean it out if you had to. But just overall beautiful knife I have to say uh, simple construction and just very very well made so great overall EDC knife very thin I think that's really where this excels you know it's a thin uh, very well made uh, high level of fit and finish uh, knife so well that's it guys hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching bye